Okay, um, well, first of all, thank you so much for letting me have the opportunity to share my work with you. Um, uh, I'm going to talk to you very briefly today about exploratory practice. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should switch. Sorry, I was just thinking it's you. Yeah. I wanted to yeah, film you, I think. Share. Okay, no, it's on because I was filming you. Oh, you were filming yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> and um, the exploratory practice and the action, action research experience. Um, my first ever um, action research. So um, it's only a very modest piece, and it's very much a piece of research which is in progress. Okay, I wanted to start um, today by just talking about the inspiration for the project. Um, I received an email for a workshop um, on action research for professional development, um, given by, facilitated by Divya and um, Dr. Richard Smith from the University of Warwick um, at Telecom Parry in February 2013. And I must admit, um, I like to think of myself as a teacher who's always trying to improve and always interested in new things. And uh, when I saw professional development, I thought, oh, that looks interesting. I'll try and go along. I'll try to, I'll try to go along. And um, I, I was really very happy that I gave up a Saturday morning to do so because I found the, the workshop very formative, um, very interesting, and um, basically very inspiring. And action research appealed to me because it seemed to me to be very pragmatic. Um, like all of us, I'm, I've got a very heavy workload, teaching load, personal life. Well, it's not so heavy, it's very enjoyable. But still, you have to put everything in. Um, uh, but I wanted, I've been wanting to do some research for a long time, so I like the fact that it was very pragmatic. It seemed doable to me. Um, and I really like the way it seemed, it was very local. So everything that I learned from the experience, from the research, was completely applicable to me and also to my colleagues because we share the same institution, we share the same teaching context. So I thought it just could be basically very worthwhile. So for the next 15 minutes, I'm going to just give you one or two words about my teaching context, talk about my research interest, talk you through the procedures um, step by step, and then end up by giving you some reflections on my research project so far. And it really is so far. And interestingly, um, I've highlighted mine because um, I'm not so sure that I should call it my research project. So I, I work at EFRE, which is an engineering school of information and digital technologies. Um, it's a grande école, uh, um, uh, accredited by the CTI and located in Vichy. Um, we, we currently have around 1,200 1, students, full-time full students and apprentices. And there are compulsory English courses in each, each semester, each year. And more or less in every um, English class, we have um, an obligatory in-class oral pre presentation for which the students are awarded ECTS. And uh, generally speaking, the format is a pair presentation and 15 minutes long. I look after the foreign language programmes and I'm going to talk to you today about um, an experience that I've had with my L, one of my, my classes, my L2 class. Okay, so the research interest. Um, during the workshop, um, again I love the workshop because we really thought about our own teaching um, situation. We were asked to think about something in our teaching, everyday teaching, that puzzled us, a problem that, that you know, something that we weren't feeling completely happy about. And as I've mentioned, we do oral presentations each semester. And something I've noticed, and colleagues have noticed, is that over recent years, we have the feeling that basically the, the level of the presentations, the quality of the presentations, have dropped. Um, thinking, about, thinking about this, um, the questions that I ask myself, it appeared that some of the students were preparing their presentations at the last minute. I'm just going to talk you through these quickly. I hope you don't have any of the same problems yourselves. <laughs> Students seem to be uh, simply communicating or even just sometimes reading their findings without really engaging in any in-depth reflection or analysis. At least half of the class didn't seem to be listening actively. My students didn't seem to be listening to or understanding the instructions. And I felt that over recent years, basically, as I've said, that the quality had, had decreased. 
Now, because uh, Div Diver and Richard, Divya and Richard, kindly said to us during the workshop, if we had ideas and we wanted to exchange with them, we could simply, uh, we were, I'm just an email away, we could email them. Um, I decided to write an initial research plan because, I, as I said, it's my first um, research, action research, so I was a bit unsure about what to do and I wanted you know, to check I was doing the right thing. So I um, did an, an initial research plan and I would really, um, for those of you that are interested in doing action research, recommend you do this because the process of writing the report, writing notes about what I wanted to write in the report, really helped the reflection process. And another really valuable aspect was sending it off and getting really wonderful feedback, critical <laughs> feedback. For example, Richard pointed out to me that the questions that I was asking myself, the language that I was using, it appeared that students seemed to be, the class, not, the class did not seem to be, I felt that. I was actually self-questioning. And he recommended to me that in addition to conducting some action research, I think about really looking into the idea of exploratory research. Um, action researcher, research, as Divya has ex explained, is a systematic, I'm not even going to try and go there, but basically <laughs> expl exploratory research we can consider as the first step of action research. And this means really making sure that you have an in-depth understanding of the situation that you, you want to improve, if I've understood it correctly. Um, so I thought about this, I thought about it, he gave me some really great um, points to consider, recommended a very good book, um, so I did the reading, read the book, thought about it, and actually thought, okay, I really, I really need to understand, I, I know what I told the students, I know the instructions I gave the students, and I know what I thought of the, the presentations, I need to understand the, the perceptions of the other in, per, people, the other participants in the, in, the, in the interaction. I need to uh, try to understand the reality of the experience for my students. So I, you know, again, making notes, reflecting, um, ask myself questions like, how and when did the, the students prepare their presentations? What they thought about their peers' presentations? What they thought about the feedback I gave them? If they thought it was a valuable and worthwhile experience, basically, I knew what I think about the presentations, and I think I know, I thought I knew what they thought, but really I wanted to do some exploratory research and really make sure that I understood. So, what did I do? The first